Hello my people, now welcome back to my channel. This video we now want play for now so eh? Now true life story, you now understand. Now lesson to learn, especially for those of now when they are abroad. When we say now go one marry, now go see me sister represent to now, or me brother represent to now for Nigeria. This one make now watch this video and make now get sense. Even if now want do distance marriage, your husband won't go pay money for your head. Make the man go your place, call you video call for anywhere where you day. From video call now go to interact. Or better still, make of now wait until one now don't get your Documents tough now go come down to Nigeria. Come do na wedding by ourselves. Me anybody no stand for you anyway. Man, no talk too much, my people. Me kuna watch this video by myself. Then me kuna learn lesson. I beg. Una understand. Anyways, please if you know you've not be liking my video, I beg. Muna get like my video, I beg. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye guys and enjoy the video. I want to share my story to the world. It's a true life story. I know some women will mock at me, some people will send truths to me, but I want to use myself as an example to the world that many women will learn and not to fall a victim of what I fell into. It's so painful. My story is like this. I met my husband here in Europe. He has papers I don't have. The beginning when we met, he never had papers. But later, a year later, he got married to a white lady. You know, in Germany, the only way to get your papers is either you married a citizen or you have a child for citizen. So he got married and he got his paper. Why me, as a refugee seeker, I went to language school. I did my BNs. I was good at it. And I was offered to do some courses in social and health care, which is at a flege in Deutschland. So after three years, my husband left his white lady and he came to me. So we are fighting for my paper because my when I seek refugee, I have some problem with my refugee stuff, which I will not want to say yet. So I became pregnant. And he said to me, with this pregnancy, you can have a baby, mother uh, shaft, mother's rights. We will not go to Nigeria to go and get married. And friends in the neighborhood, they started mocking me. We are not yet married. We are pregnant for a man who has not paid your bride price. That was where my problem began. So I told my husband, I cannot wait. I don't want my child to be illegitimate. I want my child to be legitimate. I don't want my child to be out of wedlock. So I not told my husband, since we don't have much and we are also saving, I want you to go to Nigeria to go and pay my bride price. Wish he agreed. He went. That was where my problem began. When he got home, he introduced himself to my family. And my family accepted. At the beginning, they said, ah, how can you come and marry when your wife is not here? Wait, when your wife has paper, both of you can come. I said, no. Friends are fucking me. I don't want my child to bear my name from death. I want him to bear his father's name. I don't want him to be born out of wedlock. That was a he went home. So my family finally, after much ag argument, they agreed. And then I said, okay, somebody has to represent me for the marriage. I said, okay. My younger sister, who is like her, eight years younger than me, was to be used to represent me. So you know, on marriage day, 
they will put him on his laps and give them blessings of marriage they will take the picture so she was the one that that tied that our traditional dressing for marriage she did everything we were so pleased they took photos and everything after the marriage i don't know what happened again i don't know what happened they both fell in love with each other i never knew this my sister was deeply in love with my husband and my husband was also deeply in love he forgot everything we have gone through all the promises all the good memories We have a house in Nigeria because the period of three years my husband married his white lady. Me, I was working. Every money I saved for him, I never even get to take care of myself. And what he was also saving from his white lady because his white lady was also very, very okay. We managed to build two flats in Akpakpava. So, what my husband did, because he stayed long in that Nigeria trip, he spent two months in Nigeria. Do you know in, in these two months, he went and married my sister in Oredo Registry without the consent of my family. So, he asked my sister to live in our house. He evacuated one of the tenants and he put my sister there. I thought he was being nice to my family. Little did I know that something else, deeper than what I can ever imagine was going on between both of them. I didn't notice. He came back. When he came back, we were still living as normal. Until I put to bed. My sister was always calling. You know, my husband would talk. I thought it was just the usual in-law. I didn't know that more than that was going on. So, six months later, I put to bed. My husband said he's going to Nigeria again. He wants to see his parents. Not knowing that his visit was because of my sister. He will see my sister secretly. He will see my parents differently and my sister will pretend. They kept on with their secret love. Nobody knows. I've had my second baby. Then my husband refused to marry me illegally. What I have is mother's right. He will tell me, eh, it's good you remain single mother so that we can save money. Eh, where traditional marriage has been done, you have your mother's right. So, eh, because he doesn't have a medal in my house, so that we can save money. So, me, I was living as a single mother. Why the government assist the money I was making? Also, I was also doing illegal job, black job. Why the government was assisting in my house rent? I'm in that so shock. My husband was his own making money. But he lives with me, but he has his army to another place. People that live in Germany, you will understand what I mean. So another baby came again, the third baby. So now I said, okay. We now have three kids, two boys and one girl. I said, okay, it's time we go home. 
let's do the marriage he will give him a story baby cool down that one not mean again that one not mean again that one not matter again uh, don't you see we are making money if we come together now we will not make this money this that 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 i'm your husband you are my wife it's okay i was so sorry see i really believe in him Until one day, my sister stopped calling me. I didn't hear from her again. She told me that she's going out with her boyfriend at the end. Her boyfriend is in UK. She might be moving to UK. She introduced me to one boy. I didn't know it was a game. Not knowing my husband has prepared her visa. My husband never took.